absolutely awesome. Really good. Well, Scott was uh, very original. He was definitely a winner. Scott Williams was fantastic, and his jackets were fantastic as well. Well, the doctor was the best. He's fantastic. I think we should bring him to WA. Scott Williams is the funniest man I have ever seen. Fantastic and totally unexpected. Now, how many in the room feel they are dysfunctional in some way and could possibly benefit from therapy? Just a rough show of hands. Okay, so we've got a third of our audience who are dysfunctional and two thirds who are obviously in denial because it was a trick question. There are no normal people. We are all dysfunctional in one way or the other. The way we begin to feel normal is by hanging around with more dysfunctional people. And again, another reason for this conference. Now, the problem is, of course, is when we go back to wherever we come from, we tend to get back into this sort of isolationist mode where we block ourselves away from people. And that is not good for us. Uh, you know, there are things, steps that you can do to put in place. You know what I do to meet more people, to feel more normal? I make sure I dial a telephone number at random every single day. Now, see, you've all got little plans on how to be successful. Well, take that and put it in your book. All you do is just pick up the phone, punch in eight numbers, at least in Australia, because we've all got eight numbers. So you just hold on and hope it rings. Now, if it does, that's halfway there. Better yet, if someone answers, they normally just go, yeah, hello. That's it. When you jump in there and go, hi, who's that? And I go, Steve. And you go, good to know you, Steve, and hang up the phone. <laughs> doesn't take long, but that's one more person you know. And doesn't that make you feel just a bit more normal if you do that every day? <laughs> there is a downside to this, though, because some people have answering machines at home. Who's got an answering machine at home? Like, who it on even when they're at home, just sometimes so they don't have to talk to anybody else in the human race. Yeah, well you cost me 23 cents because I'm in your house and I don't get you. I get some voicemail. It's so impersonal. And some of them are very abrupt. The, you know, the messages. I got one the other night and it said, see if I can remember, it said, hi, this is Bob. I'm probably in and screening my calls because someone's bound to ring that I don't like. Leave your name and number and if you don't hear from me, it's you. <laughs> I thought, wait a minute, how is it possible for me to ring a number at random to somebody I don't even know and discover they already didn't like me? It just, it didn't make sense. So, I left my name and number and I asked Bob to call me. Well, it was about a week later, I was sitting at a traffic light wishing I had a car. And I was... <laughs> overcome with a sense of depression and I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. I mean, and we've all been there. Sometimes you've had 24 hours of bliss, you've sold a dozen houses, you're feeling great, but you still feel a bit down. And that's how I felt anyway. And I, I retraced my steps and I discovered it was because Bob hadn't called me over a week ago. And subconscious sleep was still having an effect. And at my lowest point, I remembered what I think I told you this morning, the most important thing you can do in life is to laugh. So I told myself a joke and I hadn't heard it. So I, I cracked up and I just spent the rest of the day chuckling. I, you probably haven't heard it either, so I should tell you. Three, three, three Aussie couples end up at the pearly gates and St Peter said, uh, come forward to the first couple. They said, yes, uh, we'd like to come in. And St Peter said, I'm afraid you can't come in. Husband said, why not? He said, because all your life you've drunk alcohol. You have made it your God. You even married a girl named Sherry. There's no way in the world you can get in here. And they were sent off. The second couple said, well, can we come in? Certainly not, said St. Peter. All your life you've hoarded money. You've made it your God. Sir, you even married a girl named Penny. There's no way in the world you can get in here. And the husband of the third couple said, come on, Fanny, we don't have a chance. Laughter. <laughs> <laughs> it really and truly is the best 